Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Poor Decisions, or as it's actually called, Going Local, but we should really change the name because, oh god, oh, why why do I do these things? Why do I do these? This is this started out as a serious, yeah, you know, look, I'm really good at football manager, we're going to win loads of things. No, not anymore. I mean, the reality has now been shown. But anyway, it's it's our second episode with Tottenham and it, I mean, it could be our last given how things have been going. Probably not quite that bad. But still, not exactly good. So anyway, last time we took over Tottenham and of course they were bottom of the Premier League. I'm now happy to report that they are no longer bottom of the Premier League. If someone outside decided to use some hedge trimmers now, which really just adds to the whole ensemble, doesn't it? Um, we're no longer bottom, or bottom of the Premier League. We are now 18th. So still in the relegation zone. It's been interesting i mean our first game of course last time was a draw with real sociedad quite quite respectable in the europa league happy to report that we did then beat st gallen 3-0 so we have successfully won the group and therefore we go straight through to the second knockout round that's the positive whether we'll be here for the knockout rounds depends on what happens in the premier league in the meantime we have played several premier league games since the last time four in fact and we won one. Uh, first of all, it was a 1-1 draw with Aston Villa. We didn't really play very well, but Serge Kowasi, who's going to be the main man for us, you would think, given his goal-scoring record, got an equaliser before half-time. Nothing happened in the second half, which is fun. A 2-0 win against Brighton, which I thought fantastic. Domingo Caldera with a brace. We looked brilliant, really strong. Uh, we also looked really strong against Derby to start things off. We were 2-0 up by half-time. Really, really great scenes. Uh, they then got two goals back to equalise but then in the 88th minute Caldera scored a fantastic goal to win the game but wait no he didn't because it's football manager so obviously they then equalise in the 93rd minute as well so yeah one point at home against Derby County it was a disgrace and uh, then after the St Gallen win we played Leeds United and we lost to Leeds United we went behind early on we battled back to take the lead they equalise and would you look at that a 90th minute goal again this time to cost us one point and really is there's nothing i'd rather be doing it's just it's just wonderful everything is absolutely wonderful let's just fully check in on our situation which is becoming increasingly dire i mean i say that we're in 18th um we're level on points with leicester uh, but we are four points behind west bromwich albion so we need to get some wins on the board quite quickly and hopefully today we will do that we've got crystal palace at home first of all followed by west ham united we we yeah we're desperate desperate for points absolutely desperate so palace first um and well this is the team I'm, I'm getting kind of a handle on them at the moment in terms of who who's the who are the guys we should be going with um on paper this is an amazing team it's an amazing squad we should we should we could conceivably be top of the league right we conceivably be top of the league the problem is that most of the players despite being good are just not really playing consistently well together we have a lot of defenders like too many center backs we've got like four right backs the goalkeeper situation is a bit of a concern um, i'm going to play bazuna in goal today he is in terms of star rating not very good but the problem is that azevedo is absolutely shocking he is awful we've had some terrible goalkeepers in this save he might be the worst despite his attributes he is hopeless I'm just actually going to look and see if we've got anyone in the under 23s. We've got Darius Hall here, who, oh, oh, okay. Maybe a bit too soon for him, but I mean, that's a potential new specken over here. Five star potential as well. Um, probably a bit too soon for him. I've been looking at a replacement in January. We'll see what we can do in terms of English goalkeepers, which of course is the bulk of what we can sign. There's not many. Anyway, Bazuna gets the nod today. Defence is Marmol at left back. He is he's 30, but he's decent and he's better than uh, Simon Carter, who seems to be pretty useless. Aurelio and Devaney keep their place at centre back. Stevenson comes in at right back. Uh, the guy that was starting that, Chekas, he's out for three weeks. He's been doing quite well, but he's injured. Defensive midfield is a concern. We're going to go with Diego Rosa, who is another real person today. He's done meh. Okay, Ferencina and Downey occupy the rest of the midfield. Vukshar is back on the left. He's back from injury. Caldera has been the star performer so far on the right-hand side. And then, of course, Kawasi is up front. This yeah, this, this could be a very short spell on our journey, I think, actually, because we are... <laughs> we, we've lost the plot. The saves lost the plot, really. There, there was nothing else available, obviously, mid-season. I didn't want to have to have an entire season 
with nothing happening. Um, so we took this opportunity and we'll see, see what we can do. Can we turn it around? Can we save them from relegation and maybe push on from there? We absolutely need to be beating Crystal Palace here if we're going to do that. Right, good good start to the game. I can see we don't have possession, but we do now. Downey flings it forward. It's a good pass in the end, actually. Finds Kawasi, but he needs quite a bit of support. He doesn't get any. Uh, Alessio just cuts it out, but Vukshar's there. Seems to wear gloves already. I don't even think it's... Uh, oh, well, actually, no, we, we started quite late, didn't we? It is December, so understandable. Caldera plays it across. Downey's there. He hits the woodwork. I love it. I just, I love it so much. Good defensive clearance. This is what we've kind of been doing. We, you know, we, 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 we create opportunities. We don't necessarily take them. Defensively, we look quite good, and then something goes wrong, and the other team ends up scoring. Hopefully not an example of that here and now. Ferencina picks it up well in midfield. The tackle comes in from Bishop. See, look, it was a good opportunity, and then it's just a good tackle, and uh, Cat Palace are now countering at speed. We sort of just, and we, we look really well set here, really good from a structured perspective, and yet something's going to end up going wrong. Maybe not. Kawasi steals in. Again, He's he's got no support, and that was just kind of inevitable. I think there's a lot of players that just need to get used to the system. That might help. But Caldera is in behind again, and it's just a repeat of the previous highlight. Exactly the same goalkeeper animation as well. We need to be getting wins. I mean, we're, we're doing better than Palace at the moment in terms of creating chances, but we have to be getting some points on the board. Good points. We started off really well. Um, well, I mean, better than they were doing. Unbeaten in our first few matches before the defeat to Leeds. Uh, hopefully that doesn't usher in another spell of appallingly bad form um because i said this squad should not be getting relegated it is a good squad even even for a tottenham squad it's a good squad we should not be in this kind of bother i'm not sure what jürgen klopp was doing in the uh, start of the season it makes no sense to me it's not like the squad's too old or anything they're a good group of players from the from the attributes anyway but the performances have been severely lacking but Bit more fight from us now. Downey, look at just bring the counter. He's found Kawasi. He's in behind. Kawasi gets the finish. Fantastic. We've yeah, that's it's a very very uh, you know, typical goal from Inter Milan with Duzuba, and I think we're going to be able to replicate it quite well here. Winning the ball back in midfield. Finally, the pass comes in from Downey. It's a great ball over the top. Kawasi times his run, controls his finish, keeps his composure, and slots it past the goalkeeper. One nil can we actually maintain this right if we can this would get us out of the relegation zone but it's a big big if we've had plenty of leads we had the lead against derby we had the lead against leeds and we did not win either of those games marmol playing it forward looking for kawase it didn't bounce kindly enough for him but downey steals in downey with the strike brandon downey smashing it home he has done well, very well today. An assist and a goal. Gets a bit of luck from the uh, clearance, but is able to slot the ball into the top corner for Downey Junior nil. That's not... That's, it, you can't really make a pun out of Downey Junior, can you? It doesn't really work. Right, good. But we've been here before. We did exactly this, exactly this situation against Derby County, and we did not end up winning. This this needs to get over the line. Into the second half, and Palace are coming for us. This, why, why, why? No, just go and score another three goals, and then just make it nice and safe. That would be really, really good. But we're not going to do that, are we? We're not going to do that. They've had, they've done nothing. They have literally done nothing. They did not have a shot in the first half. And in the first highlight, in the second half, they just come forwards. No one makes any attempt to defend at all. I mean, like, where was the pressing? Where are the tackles? Where, where was any sort of defensive now whatsoever? It didn't exist. And now suddenly, they're, they are buoyed up. It's 2-1. They're going to get back in the game. They're probably going to win. Despite the fact we were tuning up at half time, we got a corner, and that one at least goes in. Jefferson already, I have a set, I've set them up properly. That's his second from a set piece, and maybe even we will not throw this away from here. Timely goal from Jefferson Aurelio, 3 1. If we could just get a bit of, bit of momentum going, that would be really quite good. Caldero pulls it in behind, it could be four, it is four. Brandon Downey gets another. That is a that is a downy tuna, isn't it? Uh, four one. I'm, I'm making it sound like he's a fish. That's not what I mean. Good ball over the top. Great control from Caldera. The cross is pretty much perfect, and Downey can't help but score. It's four one, and finally we might be winning a league game. 
if we can just get a few wins together, then that would be really ideal because, you know, we, we're not that far away now from the teams above us. It's not it's not too spread out, um, even though we are halfway through the season. If we can get a few wins together, we can go up that table and potentially even Europe. We're not too far away even from Newcastle, but we might be getting ahead of ourselves a bit. Injury time highlight, obviously, because it's, just, it's FM21, uh, but even we are not going to screw this up, are we? As... Uh, uh, our Layson gets a second. It's 4-2. There's two minutes left. He looks miles offside there. Is that because we passed it to them or something? It's our free kick. And then we give it away. I mean, he's like literally offside, isn't he? How is that allowed? Is it something because it started from a dead ball situation? Why was he even allowed to stand there in the first place? That seems really bugged to me. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's 4-2. We have won. Which is actually quite shocking, really, given how everything has been going so yeah great news we're out of the relegation zone right that was obviously good but we need to now maintain things here against west ham same team they did well not defensively but offensively they did well let's keep it going right some familiar names in the west ham lineup including gora diop who i believe we had at leon and he didn't like us very much but you know let's show him show him who who's boss we were the boss then he wasn't bothered but we are the boss now still He's probably not going to be bothered. Right, not, but not been a particularly eventful game so far. A couple of corners for both sides, but that is it. But we're in behind here. Vukshar looking to wrestle with St. Yago. Marmol plays it back to him. It's into the box. Diop cuts it away, but only as far as Caldera. Our former player gives it away. And Caldera unleashes a powerful effort to give us the lead. Normally when we start recording, things go badly. But this is, is going the other way. I'm not used to it. It's not, not what we usually have. But Caldera, great strike from him. 1-0 Spurs. Well, this would be a fantastic result if we can, again, see it through. Well, this would see us go up to 14th place. Heady heights, indeed. 1-0 um, at the break. Good, strong, confident performance. This is what we like to see. We've got a corner. Caldera looking to play it in. He's going to probably go off in a minute. It's, it's a close run thing from Morelli. I'm going to have to take him off because he's getting very, very tired. Extremely uneventful, but here's a, here's a late highlight for everything to be ruined. It might be a goal for us. It's not. Devaney hits the uh, hits the bar. It's still 1-0 to us. Still time to throw it away. I've made all, all the subs. Uh, Kawasi wasn't having a good game, so I brought on Liam Delap, who's our backup striker. He's not, he's not particularly... Uh, fit at the moment which I forgot about probably shouldn't have had him on the bench but he, he, he's on the pitch and uh, he's gonna hopefully not not ruin everything we're gonna do that some other way Devaney though cuts it away we can maybe counter Barco here is Delap he's in behind ha can he find the finish no how on earth does he miss from that he's he's been complaining about not playing that's why you're not playing Liam how did he miss that unbelievable scenes but it doesn't matter because we do hold on for a 1-0 win. Pretty uneventful game. But uh, just, who cares? Three more points. Six from six. And there we go. Heady Heights indeed. 14th place. And yeah, we are not far away. We're only six points behind Newcastle in seventh. We can turn this round very easily. We're not going to win the league this year, obviously. Probably not ever. But we can at least successfully have a top half finish i think if we can win some games that is anyway we'll be back next time probably in january um wolves and arsenal maybe could be an option north london derby could be could be you know potential um yeah i think probably that and then obviously not after that we'll have the second round of the europa league can we actually win the europa league that would be really good. Here's also the January transfer window. We've got £40 million to spend, which is really nice. Daniel Levy's not in charge anymore, so that probably explains that one. Um, there's a lot of players who want to leave. Uh, Dane Scarlett, who is out on loan. I don't know why he was out on loan, because he should be he should be playing for us. Unfortunately, he was out on loan, and uh, it had a, 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 buy, a per permanent buy option, which, of course, as you can see, uh, has already been triggered by Benfica so yeah I, yeah baffling but anyway there we go so yeah we need to get some more players in really goalkeeper definitely something to, that needs to be worked on maybe the wide areas as well as a lot of players want to leave I've promised a few of them that they can go whether they whether they will or not depends on whether we get bids in or not but yeah we will see what happens certainly a bit more positive now after those two wins but that's gonna be that for today thank you very much for watching leave a like subscribe and I'll see you next time. When was the last time I was actually happy at the end of an episode? I can't remember. Anyway, I am in this one.